hello everyone i hope you guys are doing well welcome back to my channel so today i have for you guys a i don't i'm not sure how to call this video but it's a lifestyle video because it's me sharing my life with you guys my journey my experiences with you so today i'm going to share with you guys 10 ingredients for a happier mindset i'm a chef so anything that makes something great i call ingredient it's an ingredient for me so I'm um, just gonna share with you guys 10 ingredients for a happier mindset a happier clearer and more peaceful mindset I believe that everything starts in your mind whatever you believe you become whatever you believe you portray to the world what you think about yourself you become what you think about yourself you show to people you know so let's jump right in. for me the first ingredient for a happier mindset a more peaceful mindset is the most important it's vital for me to have that ingredient in my life and I can see how my life has changed just having this ingredient in my life and this ingredient is called Jesus Jesus is the most important thing you need for you to be happy to be at peace to choose joy to do anything really Putting Jesus first has changed the way I see everything, myself, the way I see life, the way I interact with people, the way I treat people, the way I treat myself, and the way I pursue my dreams, you know. Before giving my life to Jesus, I was lost, I was blind, I was always, I was not happy at all. I lived in fear, I was just lost, you know, and I was, um, I was not happy at all. I was not happy I didn't even know what happiness was and my mindset was always sad so I, I was it was easy for me to get sad it was easy for me to get offended it was easy for me to feel insecure I didn't know my worth and I didn't feel valued I didn't feel loved so when I gave my life to Jesus everything around me changed everything around me everything within me changed so number one and the most important is Jesus and from number two to number ten I didn't rank them as most important to least important it's just I use them all I use them all so number two is boundaries 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 you need boundaries I did not know what boundaries were were before i had principles but i didn't have any boundaries at all as i think about my life my past i allowed so many things to happen over and over again and that was not healthy that was not okay at all but i didn't know it that was my only way of living before i also had that victim mentality like they're always doing this to me like what's wrong with me um, I don't I'm not doing anything wrong but I realized that I was doing something wrong by allowing people to do the same thing over and over again to me you know so uh, boundaries are really important I felt like a victim but I was not a victim because I was a grown person and I could have said no I could have set boundaries but maybe I didn't have the courage maybe I just didn't know how and today I'm so different uh, you will not mess with me twice you will not mess with me twice so my boundaries today look like saying no without a necessary explanation and in my relationships iron must sharpen iron like I would not take any less than that like I need to sharpen someone or I need to be sharpened number three let go of things you cannot control let go of things you cannot control this one was really hard for me until a few years ago I had to learn to really let go to really let go of things that I cannot control and what people choose to do I can control you can't control anything but your own behavior so I had to learn how to let go of things that I cannot control and focus on things that I can control which are just things that are coming from me so I can only control me you know so letting go of things that I cannot control actually took away of me 
and now i feel like i feel like i'm like oh wow even in a conversation i understand that i'm only responsible for what i say and if what i say offends you i can i will say sorry i would apologize but i'm not responsible for the way you understand you know and especially if you're not asking for clarity if you just assume that i meant to say what i didn't say it's none of my business seriously it's not my responsibility and i can try to explain if you ask for clarity it's not just for relationships it's um, for every aspect of my life there's a lot of things in my life that i cannot control that only jesus has control over so i before i used to try to like control my life when is this thing gonna happen when is that thing gonna happen you know and understanding that i don't have control over it that i cannot do anything about it today now i just surrender everything to jesus you know and have peace with it number four forgiveness giving grace you guys forgiveness has changed my life um and it's not until i gave my life to jesus that i was able to forgive um from the bottom of my heart like the most painful things in my life it's not easy to forgive that's why you need jesus to be able to um forgive people who have hurt you uh, the most or people who have just hurt you um, it's not easy but you can do it you need Jesus to do it you need Jesus to do it and to have a clear conscience and to have a peaceful mindset so that's what I choose to do every day I choose to forgive I choose to give grace because I also know that I need it I also know that I need forgiveness that I need grace I'm not perfect number five mind your business mind your business mind the business that pays you mind the business that pays your rent mind your business putting my mouth in other people's business is something that i um should have never done before i know i i've done it a few times give my opinion on somebody else's situation and my opinion was never asked for so that's something that i did um a few times and today i don't care i seriously don't care so minding my business and just wanting to grow and just to become the best version of who i am the person that i was created to be has really helped me uh, have a clearer mindset you know i can see clearly in my own life with the help of the holy spirit of course and just i can think clearly you know and that has really really helped me minding my business seriously mind your business and you will see how your life changes like you will grow as a person and that's the best thing ever because you don't want to be stagnant in life you know you want to grow spiritually emotionally mentally financially in just all aspects of your life and now i can see uh today in my life um growth compared to where i was five years ago four years ago two years ago and i am willing to grow more i'm willing to be challenged to uh, grow more as a human being as a woman as a christian and yeah number six is eat well eat well just eating at home cooking at home i'm a chef so i cook a lot um and i love to cook for myself too at home so uh, because i feel like what when you cook at home you have control over the amount of every ingredient you put in your food that's what i really love about cooking at home i love a homemade meal and yeah eating healthier has really helped me um think clearly and i always be in the ba in the bad mood you know because i feel like before i was always in the bad mood not in a bad mood but in a sad mood you know at some point in my life i didn't want to do anything i didn't want to see people i didn't want to go out i just wanted to be by myself at home and it wasn't healthy because the thoughts that were running through my mind when i was isolated they weren't good they weren't good at all so eating healthy helps me with my mood um 
a lot I'm not a doctor I'm not a nutrition so I don't know much about it I just know what eating healthy has done for me and I'm telling you guys it's the best thing ever and you look you feel great in your body number seven is working out it goes along with eating healthy and I saw my mood change over time you know uh, with working out the way I think about myself the way I see myself like working out really helped me look at myself differently you know treat myself differently um, dress differently and um, yeah so working out is therapeutic uh, for me it has been for a long time now and I try to work out regularly um, I have a gym in my complex so um, I would go do cardio and I would just work my abs and lift weight and I number eight is work don't be lazy don't sit around all day watching TV and doing nothing um, work do something and I'm a creative person and when I don't feel creative I I don't know my my day goes differently so working really has um, helped me and uh, just being productive you can work from home you can work from home and be creative so even when I'm not working even when I'm home I try to do something creative when I don't when I spend all day uh, watching TV I don't feel good I feel like I just wasted a day and you need rest you know when I take a whole day to rest I feel differently because I rested like I didn't watch TV I didn't listen to music like I was just resting because my body needed it and it's different because I feel recharged it's just different than um, just sitting on your couch watching TV all day listening to music eating junk food all day that that doesn't help with your mindset that does not help uh, with your mindset so uh, try to do something productive every day try to do something like even if it's cleaning your house you know clean your house clean your bathroom do laundry make dinner that's productive you know so instead of just sitting around do something if you're a stay-at-home mom or if you just work from home do try to do something productive it helps a lot with your mind number nine is self-care self-care you guys I did not get into self-care until um, a few years ago you guys I did not care uh, about exfoliating like doing masks like I did not care about all those things because um, I thought I was I didn't need it so I was just taking my showers brushing my teeth and doing my hair until out of nowhere I started having acne and hyperpigmentation and I did not know what to do with it I did not I, like I didn't I wasn't used to wearing makeup at all before and when I started having like acne I was trying to hide it so I was using makeup to hide my skin and it just irritated my skin <laughs> even more and trying to get rid of this part and everything I was using a bunch of products that just made my skin worse and I was also going through a hard time so I was stressed um, at a time and I, I'm not sure if the stress actually caused me to have acne and hyperpigmentation but it was horrible it was really horrible my skin was a mess and I didn't even want to go out anymore because I didn't like to put on makeup so I didn't like to go out because I felt like if I need if I go to the store I have to put on makeup because I I just could not stand having uh, dark spots on uh, my skin and because of that I learned to take care of my skin and I'm not where I would like to be uh, right now with my skin but I've come a long way I have come a long way now my skin is getting better little by little every day and now I am into skincare self-care and I love it it makes me feel great it's been helping with my um, mindset a lot it just makes me feel um, good about myself number 10 is rest you need rest 
you have 24 hours in a day and you need rest um, I used to overwork I used to work um, 10 to 13 hours a day because I wanted my paycheck to be big you know and I did it for a long time and I started feeling really tired I started feeling really 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 tired and I was burned out you know going to work I felt tired like after two hours just being there and um, I didn't like that I did not like that because I didn't feel productive at work and I just didn't like it and I decided to stop I decided to work only eight hours a day and not worry about the income not worry about uh, my paycheck um, and take care of my body take care of myself and resting really has helped me a lot uh, with my mood uh, my mindset um, so when I come home and I take a nap I rest I decide to do nothing and just to rest it helps a lot and now I'm doing something once a week I turn off my phone I turn off my TV and I just rest you guys it's the best thing ever the first time I did it I was at a friend's house and they were her family was doing it and I thought I could not do it I was like I don't know if I can like like 24 hours with without my phone without watching anything like I was like it drove me crazy because I was thinking okay what am I gonna do like what am I gonna say like I like I was going crazy until um, maybe eight hours later um, we went to church after church I took a nap and then I felt great I felt so great and the following week was amazing like wow <laughs> so I have been doing it and I love it so resting is really important for your mood and your mind so these are 10 things that I have been uh, incorporating in my everyday life for a better and clearer and happier mindset Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!